Yeah, definitely. So we uh, we opened up today, and this marks one year that we had a other grand opening last year, which was happens to be the same date. So we opened up the last spot in February 2017. We had to outgrow that, and now we're in the new location, still the same building, but double the mat space. And the vision we had here was to have a place where we accommodate all the athletes that we have here that train and compete. And in jiu-jitsu, you see a lot of people are going to different places that we have all in one here: cryotherapy, physical therapy, acupuncture, more service, full lockers, showers, and world-class jiu-jitsu. So we really had this vision for a long time. Since the year 2000, I got my blue belt under Master Matsura in 2001, and I stayed throughout my whole career, all my belts at the Kyoto School under Grand Master Matsura and Professor Milton Regis, uh, getting my black belt in 2013. All along that journey of jiu-jitsu, I've had the vision of always wanting an academy. I didn't open up the academy until I, I got my black belt for a couple of years. A lot of guys open up their schools even before they get black belt. But I really wanted to take my time and put my head down for training and, um, and really, really get to know how to do it right. And that's what the idea was. I'm a firm believer everything happens for a reason at the right time. I've been training jiu-jitsu for 12 years. I had no place to train in the Hamptons, so I put mats in my own basement until one day, beginning of last summer, driving down the road, I noticed the opening of Hampton Jiu-Jitsu. I came here, I met Greg. I actually was paddleboarding that day and got all wet. Greg was nice enough to give me a gi, a rash guard, and said, come on, come train. And it was love ever since. I've trained in New York all my life, but coming out here, the Kyoto guys are awesome. I mean, they're just great to train with. Let me tell you, Greg Melita, the guy is awesome. I'm so proud that he's been able to put this gym together. This is now, to me, one of the top dojos I've ever seen. And I'm super excited to train here. I'm a retired summer first class in the United States Army. I came into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in the Army uh, years and years ago. I introduced it to my brother, actually, who, uh, who started his Jiu Jitsu journey over a decade ago. Eventually ended up in uh, Kyoto South Shore, which is in Oakdale now, and Kyoto Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And through that circle, uh, I ran into Greg Melita after I retired and I came back home and just and just started this beautiful thing that we're starting right now. Uh, through the BIA, I've, I've been blown up multiple times and, and, and stuff, so. Uh, uh, coming home on leave and, and being so broken physically, not mentally, mentally we're strong, but physically being so broken, it's hard to move forward when, when your mental capacity just tells you to move forward, you know? So fortunately, my brother was getting into the whole cryotherapy and all that stuff, and I, I started dabbling in it, and it's one of the only things that keeps me moving on a daily basis. Just, I never realized how important recovery is a part of training. And as human beings, you know, we're obligated to train and be better than we, you know, we are on a daily basis. You know? And we, we need to protect ourselves and we need to protect our own, our family, our friends. So jujitsu is a great way to express that. But the, what people fail to forget is the recovery part of it. It's just as important, if not, if not more important. Bringing this into the into the program where guys can roll and recover at the same place is just it's just an amazing concept. So. You know, and, and I think we can benefit the Jiu-Jitsu community by introducing that.
believe that this is a travel-friendly jiu-jitsu school, and we want to promote everybody training with everybody with respect, of course. I really feel like this school is, can invite everybody from any background. We want this school to be where everybody can come and train for high-level jiu-jitsu, guys that are just looking to do it as a hobby, guys that are looking for really good old-school fundamentals, and the guys that are looking for the newer school, really where jiu-jitsu is going now. We're like right in the middle there.